First of all, I want to thank everybody for your prayers and support. It's been incredibly encouraging to see the amount of love that shared, not just with me, but with everybody else. The good news is the Lord has given me new strength. I feel really, really blessed. And I have a lot more energy. And I'm focused now on continuing the work for Him. Now, we're all going through trials. And this is a time of testing, as we know. So do not get discouraged. The Lord is extremely faithful. And He keeps His promises. And it also has a tremendous amount of love and care for each one of His children. And remember, Hebrews 11.6 teaches us that without faith it is impossible to please Him. Everything we do as a component and element of faith, and in some cases of great faith, which is tested, as we know from the book of James. The Lord has given me, in the meantime, tremendous amount of information, wisdom, and knowledge. And I am doing my best, as always, to put it together and organize it in ways in which it can be useful. Now, this video will be very important, but I am planning, if so the Holy Spirit leads me to, to have a short version of this very video, and perhaps in a couple of different languages. And this will be a video where we simply share with others the upcoming times into the form of a calendar that can be easily and quickly understood. And so the next videos will be a simple set of instructions and almost a how to read the calendar, whereas this video will go deeper into the teachings behind it. The plan is that you all learn what's about to come and you use it as a tool to share with others who do not know the Lord or do not understand the times we're going in. Lastly, this will be done as a printable chart. And you can also email me if you want the PDF, which is the higher resolution version of it, which I think you should have printed. And you can start sharing it with anybody who needs to hear what's about to come. As always, I do this for the honor and glory of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my Lord and my Savior. I'm not here on my merit. And even though I received words from the Lord, I remind you that your authority is the Word of God. This is a time where the enemy will do everything to take you away from the Word, away from prayer, away from fasting, away from keeping your eyes on the Lord. And perhaps following man or doctrines or trying to focus on the event like the rapture, do not focus on the event. Focus on the Lord. Focus on the understanding of the times we're in. But keep your eyes solidly planted and directed to the Lord completely and fully. Live day by day, but certainly have your entire attention onto the Lord, His Word, in prayer and fasting, and most importantly, loving and supporting one another. So this message will probably be split in a couple of videos. So please follow both or any of the number of messages I will be posting. Please take notes. I'm not going to simply rush through it, but I'll make it short enough so that it's understandable. But take notes. Start from video one, which is this, and continue on through the series. The message I received on March 4th, 2023 at 5.59 p.m. Fear not, son. I am with you. The images you're seeing, they are meant to guide you to the truth. For my beloved people, the children of Israel, have disobeyed me, and I will heal Israel and Jacob and make them a great nation. But the synagogue of Satan I will punish with my wrath. Right, son, upon the last strike, when the clock strikes, you shall see the light of the Son of Man, His promise as it is written. Write, son, that I come quickly. The world knows me not, and it expects me not. In your patience, find your redemption. 
right son i come at an hour no one expects according to my will all is done remember this that if the strong man had known when the thief came he would have been prepared fear not son i am with you until the ends of the earth it is i who speak your lord and your savior i love you son always lord jesus abba yeshua amen and i also wrote abba on the left side so from the message it was clear that the lord was leading me to two books second peter 3 as well as revelation 3. And the second Peter 3 is because we see words like his promise. And this we know is a word that shows up three times in the book of 2 Peter 3. As well as the reference to the thief. And that's again in 2 Peter 3 verse 10. Where it says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And so even down again in the message, we hear the ends of the earth. So as the Lord showed me that, it was clear that this was another amazing sequence where we could relate some of the verses to some of of the years and so we're going to look at that uh, as well and so and the other one would be revelation 3. so revelation 3 3 for example will say remember therefore how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent if therefore shall thou not watch I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour will come upon thee. And then down, of course, we know the for the Church of Philadelphia in Revelation 3.11, where it says, Behold, I come quickly. So these verses made it sure that it was to be understood that we were talking again about end times. There was a sequence of um, years to verses. So as part of the work that I've been doing and we've been doing together with a lot of you and uh, incredible comments, etc. We're now beginning to understand the full picture. And I want this to be the longer video. I'll do one that just is kind of an instruction video to how to read this. Um, if you haven't done that, please screenshot and print the page. And I'll also, you can email me. The link is in my bio here in, on the channel. And I can send you a high quality version of this. This is meant to be given to people. It's meant to be uh, shown to people what's about to happen, which ears are what, and what to expect as we move on into the near future. And certainly for anybody that will have to endure through the years of the tribulation, this could become a map uh, for, and a reference for people to, to follow. So the first concept I want you to understand is that we have a long period of time, relatively speaking, that goes from 2020 all the way to 2033. These are 14 years where several calendars is not one linear calendar but several calendars will happen at the same so time if you heard some uh people or groups talking about 14 years that is correct however it's not 14 years um, as perhaps you've been taught but uh in this particular fashion so the tribulation doesn't have to start for the 14 years to be ongoing and 14 years is is the total span and that's the two sets of seven if you wish now what we it's it's not probably the main idea here but it's just something to keep in mind while because we already in it so we can begin to look at where we're standing within that system to start you want to look at these bands horizontal bands and these are the main calendars right so we'll have one over here and the red title says flood and then the second one b system the 10 years of sorrow the wedding feast and then all the way down here the tribulation 
the red uh, labels tell you which calendar you're following. And then of course, with the 14 years total, you'll know where you're located within that system. Now, of course, already started because this 2020 is passed, 21 is passed, and 22 is about to be passed. So these first three years have passed, and so these three calendars have already started. So let's start with the three first three calendars have started and see where we're at with that. So we're going to zoom in here, and you're going to understand that the the first calendar we're going to call it the flood, okay? And the flood has to do with the fact that Revelation 20 verses 2 to 7 lists the word 1,000 years six times. So it's Revelation 20 verses 2 to 7, so it's 2027. And 2027 points to the year 6,000. Why? Because again, six times the word 1,000 years is mentioned. Now, I heard from other channels, Pastor Sandy in particular, that he counts it from verse 1. So, Revelation 20, verses 1 to 7. And so, he makes that uh, the year 2017, the year 6000. But I don't believe that is correct, uh, being that, of course, in verse 1, the word 1000 years does not show up. But it does show up from verse 2 to 7. And so, this is the correct count in my opinion. There is other ways to get to this uh, count as well. But once we see that that's the year 6,000, then we understand the relationship with Noah. Why? Because Noah is 600 when he goes into the ark. But most importantly, he's given seven days notice. Okay, so seven days notice, and then uh, on the eighth day he goes in, seven days notice to know the flood is Comment. So, and that lines up perfectly. So, so we can see that the flood started in 2020, or the warning rather, not the flood, the warning. The warning started in 2020, and we know exactly what happened in 2020. And it is progressively getting worse. You can see this arrow here uh, shows some of the events that we are dealing with ever since 2020. You can see that they are growing exponentially. These also are related to the Matthew 24 beginning of sorrows as we know it. And so they seem to be the same thing. Uh, and in fact, they are all leading to ultimately the tribulation. But you can see that in fact, the 2020 was the warning. Okay. And that warning started a seven day warning that will lead to 2027. The second calendar has to do with, with the B system or the, the beast system, rather. Why? Because in Matthew 16, 26, we know from the Matthew 16 series that that's when the Antichrist will have gained full power. And so in the Matthew 16, 26, 6, we're told about the Antichrist. If you don't know that sequence, please go back to that video. And so we know that 2026 will be when the power is established, which means... When did it start? It did start in 2021. We know that 2021 is in the uh, satanic world. 21 is the number that they use when they have to do something a major, which they did. That system, which will lead to the mark, obviously has been implemented starting in 21. So we're seeing both the warning for the flood ongoing. There's no doubt about that. And we also see the beast system rising and being implemented we already know that if you haven't watched the video about the temple being established uh which we know just turned uh 47 is uh the, watch that video so that you know that we're actually these two calendars are being fulfilled before our eyes and actually that explains most of the things that we see ongoing in the world 